Surging waters have burst through a dam in eastern Sudan, wiping out 20 villages and according to preliminary information, leaving at least 30 people dead. This compounds the problem of a region already devastated by months of civil war. Torrential rain caused floods that overwhelmed the Arbat Dam, just 40 kilometers north of Port Sudan, the de facto national capital and base for government, diplomats, aid agencies and hundreds of thousands of displaced people. The area is unrecognizable. The electricity and water pipes are destroyed, says the head of the Water Authority for Red Sea State. About 200 people are still missing. Flooding has impacted the homes of about 50,000 people, the United Nations said, citing local authorities. That number only accounts for the area west of the dam. The area to the east is inaccessible. The Arba At Dam, which is about 38 kilometers northwest of Port Sudan on the Red Sea state, suffered extensive damage due to heavy rains yesterday. Preliminary reports indicate the breach caused extensive damage in 20 villages downstream from the dam. Our humanitarian partners and local authorities are assessing the affected areas and will have additional clarity on the extent of the damage in the coming days. Army Chief General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan toured some of the affected areas and spoke to the people. Officials said the dam had started crumbling and silt had been building during days of heavy rain that had come much earlier than usual. Sudan's dams, roads and bridges were already in disrepair before the war between the army and the paramilitary rapid forces began in April last year. Both sides have since funneled the bulk of their resources into the conflict, leaving infrastructure badly neglected. And after the floods, another crisis is looming large drinking water crisis. The Arba Ad Dam is a crucial facility in Port Sudan, serving as a primary source of fresh water for the city. The reported damage is expected to have a substantial impact on water supplies to Port Sudan, worsening the humanitarian situation. There's little time to mourn for those who have lost their loved ones. Graves are being dug in loose sand and burial sites are covered with wood and metal pieces, lest they be washed away in mudslides. Floods have killed over 130 people so far. At least 1,18,000 people have been displaced due to rain-related incidents this year, according to United Nations agencies. For more such videos, keep watching Strat News Global.